dry. Stitches on in place. Odell Blanco? Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. <laughs> More like a miracle. If the scabs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. It looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? Nah, I just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Well, uh, that we haven't tried. So what? You're Anderson's right hand? Not a physician, if that's what you mean. I provide spiritual comfort. How's that going for you? The patients, they're afraid. If something happens to Anderson, they'll have nowhere to go. This place used to be a church. Yes, mine. But these days, few seek absolution, while many more need transfusions or fresh implants. At least you're still helping them. True. But <laughs> where's a priest to confess? Thought Hanson's goons kept the Dogtown gangs at bay. Scavs must have struck a deal with Bennett. You know, Hanson's lieutenant here in the MDO. What, a bar guest salary don't cover the bills? As the good book says, a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise. Bennett's not even that. What do the scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. The scavs still let you look after the patients? In a sense. Then Nico ordered them to take us all outside. Nobody's allowed in. Said it was between her and Anthony. She doesn't want anyone killed. Hmm. Or anyone talking later. If this is about Eddie's or Chrome, the scavs would have just taken him. Sure, but we don't have either. Wait, how's this place even running? Generous donors. Scav's got all the doors covered. Main one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Could still be a way there. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the Scav's heard Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me.
Fuck. Generator conked out again? No, probably Nika made short circuit. She wants to get the Ripper. Well, security should be good and dead now. <laughs> Chill. Gun down, let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here, alive. And I'm here for my brother. 
couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You, off your ass. Where's Gaspar? Thought about switching up your game. That iron's not making much of an impact. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Oh, fuck! You, Merc, help me! Nah, not zeroing anyone just because you don't want to use your words. I can't fucking believe this. Gasper's dead. What? You're lying! He was just a little sick! Your brother was so high out of his mind, it scorched his metabolic editor. The kid was in a coma before he even hit the table. Huh? How'd he die? Morphine injection. His remaining implants were at risk, and I've got patients who need them. To hell, your other patients! You... You fucking murder- For Night City, not the worst way to go. He died in the street, would have just landed in a dump. There was nothing I could do. Why delay the inevitable? We'll extract his implants. They'll go to people who still need them. You won't lay a goddamn finger on him. Give me my brother. No! No. What did you say? Fuck! Uh, help! Where's his body? Fuck off, Scav! You call yourself a doctor? What happened to first do no harm? My patients have no one but me. No one. You don't know shit about the decisions I face. What? Who lives and who dies? That junkie was dead already. You're fucking dead! Your brother's gone. I won't let him get Gaspar! Accept it. Let Anderson go. Finally, you couldn't have done that from the start. Which hand holds the scalpel? The other one. At least we dodged that bullet. Let me get this straight. You take in peeps as they come? Then decide who's donating? I've yet to write off anyone who could be helped. When your clinic lacks for literally everything, you need to be pragmatic, make tough choices. Need me for anything else? Hmm. Better clean up this mess. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street, waiting. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work. Anderson's inside, alive. A little drunk. That's a relief. Thank God. Thank you. So we can go back in? Sure can. Nika won't be giving you any more trouble. Listen, V. Stop by later. Once everything's back to normal. Might not have the latest, shiniest chrome, but you're no snob. Anthony will make the price just right. How's the lake?
Hey, I had a nightmare recently. My synth lungs were hacked. I choked, turned blue, then lost consciousness and woke up. My client, Indira Baratza, won't be so lucky if she doesn't strike a deal with her blackmailer. The lowlife in question, Milko Alexis. He works for the Voodoo Boys. You know what to do. If anything's unclear, read the attached details. here. Wait! Don't shoot! I'm just here on Biz! You have Biz with the Voodoo Boys? Yeah. Well, used to. After what you just did, thinking they'll want a new supplier. 
Voodoo's can't just go to a ripper for their chrome? This cyberware isn't for installing. It's for tinkering. It's some kind of experiments. Research on implants. What was all that about? Don't know, don't care. I got enough problems. Milko Alexis, a voodoo boy. Know the name? Yeah. About all I know, though. Guy practically lives in the net. Seems like he's got everyone walking on eggshells. Big deal, I guess. Where can I find him? Don't ask me. Got enough problems as it is. I came here to make a few hits, right? Tell me what I want to know, and you will. I don't owe you shit. I'm out of here. Back to business, you
Hey, hey. Careful with that. I'm linked to the runner. See? Don't want him to catch a ricochet. Huh? Netrunner, blackmailer, murderer. He's my hit. He has some dirt under his nails, yes. But Milko, he's a no one. A small fish in a big pond. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. A real pleasure, Alan. My chums call me Lizzy Wizzy. I know who you are. Everyone at the Igloo has been talking about what you did in Pacifica. You came to an understanding with our man back then. Yeah, I thought so too. Till I learned your buddy secretly injected a tracking program in me. Class act. That's why I'm not gonna waste my breath on a corpo this time round. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine, but so much as a twitch and you're a flat line. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Wanna stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. Guess you'll have to manage without Melko. Do not do this.
Two seven five three. You over here. <laughs> Was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. Like, say, a prototype and some schematics, huh? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Uh-huh, cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta Tech engineer. Only survivor of the SCAV ambush. Even for SCAVs, jumping a corpo convoy is next level gonkery. Something's off here. It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. So the SCAVs randomly ambushed you? <laughs> nah, no way. Someone rat you out? Sell the product? Sell out the client? Look, I don't fucking know. We'll cross that bridge later. Can you just get me out of here? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scavs, M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gog you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech. No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him in. Made a guinea pig out of it. Prototech's capricious. Erratic. 
For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. A big daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Why all the drama over some measly implant? Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> we at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Hush hush, not so much as a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. Here's an idea. I go in there, yank that chrome out of your skull, and hit the road. I'll tell you what I told those savages. There is no way to extract it short of a ripper dock. You yank, it's ruined. Prototype's all I need. It's condition, whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Listen, I can show you where they're holding them. Fine, fine, let's get you out of here. Wonderful. I knew we'd come to an understanding. Yeah, now to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Hey, maybes. I already found it. I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh-huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's... barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah... Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh. Wow. One line about being an engineer, huh? Hey! As long as it stops working. Should be safe here. 
I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... uh I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Docktown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? <laughs> Must have had some kind of plan. I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Docktown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. Buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush, well... Why are you so hell-bent on clepping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Oh, more in your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. The sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it! The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. Fucking haze me, Hassan. Put my shit on the line for you. And you want to leave me out to dry? I was in a goddamn scav cage. You would have left if I told you the truth. Maybe, maybe not. But you definitely made a big mistake trying to con me. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Enemy collaborators have infiltrated downtown. That means NUSA spies and agitators are in your midst. Keep your Okay. You and me. Never met. Our story? Scav's got the schematics, prototype went AWOL. We clear? You... really? Yes, understood. I... thank you. Now I Delta. You find a big-ass rock, crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets half a whiff, you're dead. Right. Okay. Sly bastard bamboozled the corp and you in the process. Do nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. Say? Prototype wasn't around. Got the schematics, though. That an issue? It's certainly a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring your compensation now.
Love what you done with the place. How's a ripper end up at the stacks anyway? Oh, the, the city's so stifling, Chum. I wanted to go someplace where there's no formalities, no limits, where I could just be myself. You know what I mean? Uh huh. You got your ripper license revoked, didn't you? Uh, the fuck do you care? You want a ripper or not? Okay, let's see what you can do for me. Just hope I won't regret it. Anything hitches, just come back! At least you won't get bored. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald.